have a look. 41, Shabir up front. Got Gale, 31. Mamudullah set it up, 37. And then Mustafiz did well with those, with those two wickets. Alameen getting three, Cooper getting three. I think Cooper pulled a very crucial over. It's now got a wicket, four runs. He's just taken the game away from the Dynamite's reach now. Last over, 22 runs. Yeah, well, you're uh, the Jiri Karachi. You're judging this, Zachers. Who are you going with? Out of the match. It's T20. Come on, brother. Quickly, jelly, jelly. I don't know. Shabri did very well to get those runs. Just gave them a brilliant start. Yeah, it's a low-scoring game, isn't it? 135. Fortunate to uh, even get to that, I reckon. Now, come on. That was, for me, one of the shots of the night. Made it look easy. That, too. Well, that has to be slack for the short. Ah, thinking that, too. Was on. So on. If he got it just a little bit sweeter, Malcolm Waller, would have gone over for six. And you don't know what could happen. Just a little bit better. So close, but yet so far. Could be a coach in this form of the game. That was a pressure catch. Waller's catch was a big catch for the Barashal Bulls. Yeah, almost got that. Didn't get the wicket keeper. So, balls and 21 runs. Bulls are kicking out the home team, Dhaka Dynamites of the BRB BPL. So you've gone with uh, the beer, okay. And Cooper's got three for 17. This kid, Alami, got the big fish, Kumar Sangakara. Three for 15 and an eliminator knockout. Tail, uh, simply running out of deliveries and too much of a task for 9 and 10. So many what-ifs and of maybes for the D's. Yeah, a little bit of shape. Put them go, nicked it. This one. Massive moment in this eliminator. And then that too. Important key wickets at the top there from Alamein. Say a couple of things go your way. Nature of this truncated format of the game, as we saw with Rad Emirates on Thursday night, how we got the double Bs over the line on Thursday evening, and that was the final delivery. Yes! 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 They can come on now. That's right. You can stop. Can the rest of the squad? for the Barashal Bulls because they've made it three out of three against the Double Ds. They've beaten them on every occasion here in the BRB Bangladesh Premier League for 2015, the third edition. And in the end, 18 runs short. Good team effort from the Bulls. Confirmation there of a comfortable victory in the end, but when Waller and Mossadegh were together. You were know, never quite sure what the result was going to be. And Waller got out, and then straight away when Mossadegh Hussain got out, the game slipped away from the Dynamites. We'll talk about having uh, finishes. Barisal needed 29 in the last three, with just two wickets left, and they got it yesterday. Whereas uh, the 20 run over, Dynamites needed 34 runs, with three overs remaining, with five wickets in hand, when Waller got out.
and they only managed 15 and they lost three wickets they only themselves to blame because they chose to chase and they didn't have a huge total to chase 136 to get but they just didn't get anyone to stay on the wicket and get those runs for them Mamadullah definitely he's worked hard he's getting into the second qualifier to face the Rangpur riders he knows it and it's a big win to beat the home side in their backyard this is what it means all that blood sweat and tears in the nets and training <coughs> in the gym running those miles bowling those deliveries striking those balls keeper doing all those drills to have this success give yourselves another opportunity to get through so the double R's will play the double B's tomorrow and the Nasser Hussain there he got a start and missed out Mossadegh and Waller were key components too they got out in back to back deliveries and it was all over Red Rover for the Dacca Dynamites top three didn't get enough top four certainly not Alamin, three for 15, and Kevin Cooper there, side by side with three apiece, were the standouts. Mumadullah was very useful too, I've got to say, and Tigel picked up two as well. Let's go sideline with the big guy, Patrick Simcox. Yes, Danny, I got your beer with me, 41 or 39, but how's it feel to win, buddy? Yeah, definitely, uh, we are, uh, definitely we are happy, and we needed to win the mess, and Hopefully uh, tomorrow with the match and go to the final. Were you excited? Were you excited? Yeah, really we're excited and uh, we're performing and we're do before like practice and do I, I just roll it myself. Yeah. Okay, well let's just talk about those first 13 balls where you didn't get a run. How were you feeling then? Yeah, that is, that's time I just panic and Keith Gale has told me uh, not panic as just hit it either yourself, chance the yourself. That's I just... Now in your lifetime did you ever think you're going to be batting with Chris Gale in front of all this crowd? Uh, that's a good and I think uh, Chris is a very good batsman and a uh, hitter. I just uh, see the ball and uh, how, the, we, uh, how the shot in the outside the field. Okay, well thanks for the entertainment today and good luck tomorrow, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. Yeah, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Buddy's all round because they're pumped of the balls. They got up by 18 in the end and deservedly so. Three out of three, as I mentioned a moment ago, the balls over the dynamites. And they've done it in this eliminator, so they go through and play the double R's. Run for riders, same venue, and a night game to boot. Alright, time for a break and then we come back with a post-match presentation with Shamim Chowdhury.